Hello everybody, this is Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place. Today's video is about how change takes time. It takes time for our body to heal. It takes time for our body to make changes that we want. And I wanted to talk about this because I get this question a lot with new patients about roughly how long is it going to take for me to get better. And so we always try to make recommendations that help our patients achieve that goal. A lot of times people are coming in, they have a lot of pain, they want to get out of pain, they want to feel better, they want to have better range of motion, they want better quality of life. So in our office, we always strive to make recommendations to help our patients achieve those goals. But it's important for all of us to remember that we are all different, we all heal at different rates, we have different challenges throughout our day that can affect that healing. So it's important for us to all remember that change like that can take time. And so I like to bring up these examples with patients just to kind of help remind them that when you start like an exercise plan, we all understand that we can't go to the gym once or twice or three times and expect to see massive changes, right? It takes time for our body to respond to exercise. And if we're exercising consistently over the course of months and sometimes years, we're going to see really big changes, especially if we're being committed on other things like diet, and making sure we're getting adequate sleep. So change takes time here. What if we're starting in physical therapy? We have an injury and we're trying to rehab that injury. Uh, one of my good buddies is a physical therapist that we refer patients to each other all the time. And that is one thing the physical therapist will also tell you that you can't just be here once or twice and expect this injury to get better. That's why most physical therapists recommend at least twice a week for the course of around six weeks so that we have time to make the changes to that area of the body to properly rehabilitate the area and get it strong again and get it doing better. So that's another example how change takes time. And also in my office, a lot of times, sometimes people will come in and have that, I want to get adjusted once and they expect everything to just magically change. And that's not the case. Very similar to physical therapy, very similar to an exercise plan. Chiropractic care does require a course of care especially if you've had something going on for weeks, months, and years, uh, it takes a little bit of time to get the body to change and to make the corrections that we want to make more of a lasting change in that area. So with chiropractic care, we always try to, as fast as we can, get people out of pain, do our best to encourage their body to heal, but we also need time to make long-term and lasting changes to their body. And then once those changes are made, it's very similar to exercise and physical therapy. If What are you doing to maintain the results once you've achieved that goal? And in chiropractic care, I always recommend to my patients, hey, we should be seeing you on some kind of wellness plan to help maintain the health of your spine, to keep those joints moving, and to keep you functioning at your best so that you don't go back towards having pain and dysfunction again. Think of it no different than with a dentist. If you went through a course of dental care, what is the dentist going to recommend to you? Uh, typically, they're going to recommend to brush your teeth twice a day, use floss, make sure you're coming in for those deep cleanings at least every six months, and that is their maintenance plan to help you have better dental health. Chiropractic is no different for your spine. We like to see our patients on some kind of an ongoing basis to help maintain the results we've got and to help maximize their overall health and well-being. I'm Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place.